Happy Friday, Mayor Dan Pope with a weekly update live from the uh, balcony on the 11th floor of Citizens Tower this morning. Thought you might want a little different perspective. So let's start with uh, COVID-19. I promise you there's other topics following this that stick with me. I want to make sure that I catch you up to date on a few things. So since the early since early March, we've identified 680 cases of COVID-19 in Lubbock. Positive test. However, only 162 of those are still active. That means that 468 have recovered. Nearly three times as many have recovered as are currently active. Now, you might look around the state and you say, well, Lubbock looks like it's been pretty successful in fighting this. And I would say that the answer is a resounding yes. And here's why, in my opinion. First and foremost, testing. We've been able to test and trace and then we tweak our strategy. And you've heard me talk about testing and I don't need to go through that, but we're still testing at roughly twice the rate of the rest of the state of Texas. Tracing is important. That's what our health department does. That is that when you find someone that's positive, you need to make sure that you realize, understand everybody they've been in contact with. You wanna put a, build a fence around them, get them to quarantine, uh, get their, the people they've touched to quarantine. Generally, they're gonna get well within 14 days or even a little bit less than that the vast majority of people that get COVID-19 recover. We just want them recovering in their homes where they're not contacting other people. That's so much, you hear this a lot about contact tracing, and I think some of our success, a great deal of our success is due to the fact that we were ready to do that from day one. So we'll test, we'll trace, and we'll tweak. We continue to work on our strategy. We're gonna tweak our strategy, and as we learn more, we'll, we'll do that. Now, um, I also think that some credit goes to our citizens. We're socially distanced by nature, but we also have a lot of horse sense. We have common sense, and when you combine that with love of our neighbors, we've taken care of each other. I think that's a big part of our success. And finally, I think our hospitals, we, we, what a great backstop. There were periods of time when we had um, a, a bunch of people in the hospital. We did, uh, the last number I heard was less than 10 total in both of our hospitals. But they've been here for us. They, they, They've been fabulous. They've been great partners. And so those are my key reasons as to why we're where we are today. And so I want you to remember, always remember that we want the, um, we all want the very best in science, the most up-to-date information and that we need safety. We, we need um, safe environments for the people that, that we love. And, and we, we, we deserve the personal freedom uh, that we cling to as Americans. And so I believe that we continue on, on that path with all of that. It is safe to get outside. It's safe to go to stores. It's safe to go out and eat. Do it in a responsible way. Do it the Lubbock way. Okay, council meeting this last week, Tuesday night. If you've not had a chance to watch it, please go and watch it video on demand. I think you'll enjoy getting the update on downtown and where we, what our next steps are. We're basically after about an eight or nine week, uh, 10 week pause, we're restarting that and, and there, there's actions to be taken and we talked to quite a bit about that on Tuesday night. We also got an update from our libraries director on so the future of our libraries and it's interesting, we've gotten to test some of those ideas during COVID-19, we've learned a lot and we'll be able to apply that to our services going forward. Last night, on Thursday night, we had a uh, public hearing around impact fees. Now remember that, uh, that uh, impact fees were, uh, uh, are part of development. It's a responsible and an equitable way to develop. Uh, we made a decision as a council to move forward on impact fees when we accepted the comprehensive plan, the Lubbock, uh, plan Lubbock 2040 plan uh, now 18 months ago. Uh, it called for impact fees. It, it, however, it, at, it suggested and state law suggests that, that a citizens group has to advise us on how to do that. They've been meeting now for nearly a year. Uh, the public hearing last night was a part of that process. We still have work to do, and I would think that uh, that work would be finished uh, by sometime early in the fall. Stand by for more news. Finally, uh, tomorrow morning, Saturday morning, uh, here's one of those check, check the box on getting back to normal kind of things. Uh, the Depot uh, District Farmers Market, tomorrow morning, be there, okay? Be there to enjoy that. We're gonna have, we've had great weather. Um, I know we'll have lots and lots of vendors out selling good, uh, good uh, 
fruits and vegetables and breads and just a lot of other West Texas kind of, of items. And so I hope you'll join us out there tomorrow. Um, I uh, really appreciate your support. I can't tell you what your prayers mean to me. Uh, I love your good ideas. Stay safe. Be hopeful. Talk to you next week.